Welcome to the Contractor Success Map Podcast. I'm your host, Bradley Hart, and I'm an expert on how you can get the most out of your contracting company. The reason I designed this show is to help you turn your contracting company from a people-dependent money pit into a process-dependent cash cow to have the freedom you dreamed of when you start your business. Every Friday, we're releasing podcasts and information to help you get the most out of your contracting company. Be sure to join us at www.contractorsuccessmap.com and subscribe to receive our latest articles and special offers. And the best part, it's all free, just for you. Hello there. Welcome back or welcome to our podcast. I hope you are doing great and in excellent health. This is Norhalma delivering our 485th episode by Sherry DeHart. You can listen to the other sessions on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever podcast content is published. It's non-sequential. You can listen to the topics that interest you the most. I'm sure we can all relate to this topic that Sherry posted. It's entitled, Six Tips to Respond Effectively to Construction Client Complaints. Let's get into it. Complaints are an unfortunate part of running a business, but they happen. No matter how hard you work to please your clients, eventually someone will have something negative to say. However, with the right approach, you can turn complaints into a valuable tool to strengthen your business. When reviews are great, that's a fantastic thing. But unfortunately, when you get negative ones, you have to adjust. You can't please all customers all the time. Here are six tips for effectively responding to complaints. First, remember that this is not an argument. The reason that a client complains is a disappointment. It's a symptom of a need that wasn't met. They are not looking to fight with you. Taking the time to complain signals that they wish to continue the relationship. Don't muck it up by getting into a defensive, back-and-forth argument. Nobody wins in that scenario. Your client is allowing you to continue working together. It's tough to keep calm when someone comes in hot with a complaint, but remember, feedback is a gift. It just may not feel like it at the moment. Second, Listen. The key here is to put explanations aside. Listen until the client has said everything on their mind. Don't start thinking of how to respond while they are still speaking. They'll see your eyes glaze over the moment you do, and that will make matters worse. If it's a written complaint, Read it over a few times to make sure you're not inserting a tone or accusation that may not be there. You want and need to understand the complaint. Without this information, you can't move forward in any meaningful way. The moment for explanations and solutions will come. Take this time to really set everything else aside and just listen. Next, repeat what you heard. It's essential to give the information back to the customer to ensure you're on the same page. Make sure you understand the complaint by saying it in your own words. A lot can get lost in translation, so let them know that you hear them. This lets both of you know that you hear and understand the problem. Once they acknowledge that you've got it right, you'll be able to get to a solution. Fourth, acknowledge. Forget for a moment that you're defending your construction business. Try to imagine how it would feel to be the one making the complaint. You should be able to identify what need wasn't met or how you disappointed them. When you put yourself in their shoes, it becomes clear what solution you expect. You will also be able to see where you fell short and how you can avoid doing that to others in the future. Fifth, offer a solution. After the work you've done to understand the problem, finding a solution will be the easiest. 
you know that you'd expect as a customer and what you can offer as a business. This information will create a solution that makes both parties feel good. Let them know sincerely that you want to make it right. After all, this is your business, and reviews spread faster and further when they are negative. But when a company goes out of its way to fix the problem, people enthusiastically let others know about it. And last but not the least, follow up. This may be the most critical step and is also often overlooked. After some time, follow up personally. This shows your client that you care about the outcome and want to ensure they're doing well with the solution. They will remember the time and attention you put into ensuring they were satisfied. They will also likely come back with more business and refer you to others. It doesn't take long, but the effort goes a long way. Likewise, if you receive a bad online review, don't panic. A bad review or two isn't likely to ruin your reputation. On the contrary, a few negative reviews can help you gain trust with potential clients. In addition, you can use the situation to build confidence in your business by being responsive, transparent, and honest. Many prospective clients will look past a few negative reviews if you have more favorable ones. So ensure you consistently provide quality services and encourage happy clients to post a good business review. If possible, ensure your responses include an apology, a statement about your commitment to your clients, and a way to continue the conversation offline if further communication is needed. Doing so will show potential customers and clients that you care about their feedback and are willing to take responsibility. But it also allows you to move the conversation to a more private forum if the reviewer isn't happy with your response. Final thoughts. Nobody likes to see a complaint come in at their business. We all work so hard to make sure we're providing a valuable service that is truly helpful, and knowing that we let someone down can be challenging. However, take it as an opportunity to become even better, and you'll find that your construction business continues to grow. And that ends Sherry's blog post. I'm pretty sure that we can all relate to that. If you want to chat about growing your construction business, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You can email Sherry at Sherry, S-H-A-R-I-E, Sherry at fasteasyaccounting.com, or you can give her a call at our toll-free number 1-800-361-1770 or our Washington State local phone line, it's 206-361-3950. Remember, you have a direct access to Sherry. If she wasn't able to answer the phone, please leave a voicemail. Just leave a message with uh, your phone number, of course, your name and your company name. And yes, our promo code is still available for you to use. It's PODCAST20, P-O-D-C-A-S-T-2-0, PODCAST20. Whether you need a bookkeeping template or would like to enroll in one of our our construction accounting classes. So that would be 20% off for all the bookkeeping templates in fasteasyaccountingstore.com and our accounting classes in constructionaccountingacademy.com. So the links to our online store and academy are in our blog. On behalf of Sherry and our team at Fast Easy Accounting, this is Norhalma. Thank you all for listening. Stay safe and healthy. And stay tuned for upcoming episodes on how to turn your contracting company into a process-dependent cash cow. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. You're listening to the Contractor Success Map. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a five-star rating and review here on iTunes. And make sure to head over to www.contractorsuccessmap.com to subscribe to receive the latest articles and special offers. If you'd like to discuss your business strategy, simply click on the button labeled Strategy Session. 
And the best part, it's all free, just for you.